Over it. No, uh, watch out. To say, stay back. Don't go close. Uh, Prince over it. No. Boss. Ah! Boss. Uh, what? boss. What? Wake up. What? You're having a nightmare, boss. What's going on? Oh, you're having a horrible nightmare. What are you dreaming about? What are you doing in my bedroom? I don't. I just wander <laughs> in on occasion. <laughs> this, you just broke the friend barrier here. Uh, it's, this is it's not uh, appropriate. It was meant to be broken. Oh, what were oh. you dreaming about? I had an awful nightmare when I was. Uh, I gotta watch the episode, see what happens. But uh, I had a dream that uh, I, my prediction was right. And over and lost, but it wasn't just that. It was just lose. Really? He, the mountain popped his head. Wow, just like a zit. Him. Well, I got news for you, boss. That actually happened. Oberyn's dead. What? <laughs> yeah, no. Oberyn. Hi, I'm Oxnard. I'm boss. Uh, Dexter's not here. He's getting his uh, wisdom it's pulled Oberyn. out of his skull. Cause, uh, <laughs> it's Oberyn. Oberyn's dead, boss. <laughs> Not only is he dead, is he gonna that's feel... probably the worst way anyone could ever die, ever. You sure he's dead? Yeah. Oh, he's dead. You think he's going to be okay? And this is what's sick about it. I was kind of laughing when he died, because I knew how horrible uh, it was, but uh, I knew it was coming. Oh, no. I had to restrain myself from laughing. You what think, does that say about me? You think me? the Lord of Light can save him? He's nowhere He's nowhere near him, over. He's but gone, dude. It's possible. I guess if you want to... Well, he's crushed his head. You were laughing? Yeah, because I knew what was going to happen. Oh, Same thing with the Red Wedding. There was a part of me that was like, oh my god, this is so great. Ugh. Hey, I'm not the sick... They did it on the show. They yeah. even put in the crunch. In the book, there's a very distinct crunch oh. that they describe in the book. And if you watch oh. that part again, they put in that crunch. They did it the way it's supposed to be done. Oh. Anyway... It's a special episode because it's only me and Boss. Uh, yep. Dexter's not here. He's uh, had massive surgery on his tooth. No. What no t- tell them the truth. Didn't he have wisdom tooth pulled No, in? he saw the episode, and oh, he he saw now he's the in episode. a crippling state of depression. Yeah, he was on a ledge for a while. <laughs> Even though he knew what was going to happen, he still went on the ledge, which <laughs> He was weird. hoping that they'd change it. So, But he wrote in some notes that we're going to read later. Mm-hmm. So, this episode was called The Mountain and the Viper. Mm-hmm. And uh, directed Whatever. by Alex Graves. Also, if we sound different, it's because I'm recording on a laptop. Should sound the same, but if it sounds different, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, my review. This episode was terrible. End. This episode was terrible. This is one of the best Awful. episodes of Game of Thrones Awful. I've ever Awful. <laughs> this is one of the greatest episodes. Awful episode. The build-up, because I don't know if, it, if you're a reader especially, you my know they're building up favorite. to it. You see the title of the episode, you know they're, what they're building up to, and they hold it for that very last part of the episode. Mm-hmm. It's like, what was it? It was like 9. I was watching. It was like 10 minutes left or yeah, 12 minutes. Yeah, it was minutes. like 9.51. Then you get finally to the trial by combat. Mm-hmm. And the episode even ends earlier than you thought. It ended around mm-hmm. like 9.57 or something. Right. So, But it was very impactful, much <sighs> like Dexter's wisdom tooth. Yeah. So, uh, show opens up with... Parallels. Uh, with uh, Mole Town. Hmm. Mole Town is where the people of the Night's Watch, uh, even though they took the oath, they like, you know, they like to get their dick wet yeah. every, on occasion. Mm-hmm. And where are you going to do that? Not with each other. The most boring place in this world, in yeah. my opinion. Unless my favorite people, the Wildlings, come to town. Right, exactly. All right. Um, Dexter, he wrote in some notes, so I'm going to read his notes now. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to do my best Dexter impersonation. We could always skip his notes, you know? Uh, it was extremely gratifying when the belching prostitute was killed by Egret during the Wildling attack. Uh, why are the whores in that tavern covered in with dirt? We know there is no, there is a water because a villager is killed by a well. I think he meant water. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I water. think there is a fetish for super dirty women in Westeros. We can see that Egret, while tough as nails, is also more human than the people <laughs> she's with when she spares Big Tooth and the baby. Mm-hmm. So she, he called yeah. Gilly Big Tooth. Mm-hmm. You know, nice. it's when Dexter, Dexter talks when he's here, bitch. I don't listen, and when you read it, I don't listen. Wow, okay. Well, that was Dexter's point of view. Um, I liked it. I liked... uh, My favorite part was uh, the Tormund's bug eyes. Gave a good bug-eyed look. Like, he's completely insane. And one thing I really (laughs) liked is that the first... had to be like two or three minutes. That was all one shot. And stabbing. Yeah, you follow the people going into Mole Town, into the the inn, and then you see the Uh belching prostitute, and it's circling around. They're guessing the name Mm -hmm. of whatever song she's trying to belch. It was awful. How could you guess that? Yeah, it seemed a little corny to me. A little it was bit, dumb. It's just like, yeah. how many songs in Game of Thrones do you know of? Right. 
Yeah. Exactly. Bear in the Main Affair, <laughs> Reigns of Castamere. 50, 50, 50 chance. And that one that the guy sung in front of Joffrey and then his tongue got cut out. And the viper that got popped. Yes, the viper that popped. <laughs> <laughs> around, around the biting pit. The, the mountain mount- chased the viper. <laughs> the mountain popped the viper. <laughs> Gilly is spared by Egret. Mm-hmm. And I did notice, I was watching it again, there is blood coming down to the ceiling. Yeah. Which was a nice touch. I thought yeah, that, that was, was cool. Good. And then we cut right from there to uh, oh. Sam, who's very concerned because yeah. Motown has been taken over by the yeah, wildlings. Man. I don't know how he's still alive. Sam? Yeah. Yeah, well, I, figured, I figured he'd die from like chores around this place. Just doing chores, yeah, lifting trays, <laughs> cardiac arrest. <laughs> well, I mean, he's young. He's, <laughs> I think he's, you know, he's got, he's good. Uh, so they're uh, concerned because now the wildlings have attacked a place that's pretty close to them, and they know mm-hmm. they're closing in, and they're starting to say, "There's a hundred of us. There's a hundred thousand of them. It's like three hundred. No more visits to Moletown. Yeah, what was it? Three hundred? It was three hundred Spartans and a couple of. Uh, those other guys against three hundred thousand or were something? they Athenians? Athenians, I don't yeah, know. some guys who I weren't as good as I fighting as the Spartans. Think that's right. Okay, so now we get to some <laughs> interesting stuff, which is uh, too bad Dexter isn't here because I wanted to ask him about it. We get to Daenerys scenes with the Grey Worm, who's showing an interest. Yes. in Missandei. <laughs> so even though you like last time, you thought that I thought. That Grey Worm was interested in her. I thought that and, you thought what? And I actually didn't think that, but I thought he just liked her. But now, apparently, maybe there's something going on. I think what's happening here is they're trying to show that he's emotionally in mm. love with her. Maybe yeah. he got a stump, like a hard stump. Sure. We were talking <laughs> about that. But, uh, yeah, there's a scene here where all the men are bathing in one part of the river, and then the women are bathing on the other part of the what river. What exactly were we talking about? Describe it to them. <laughs> What? You said we were talking about that. Yeah. Elaborate. Yeah, one part of the river, the men are bathing, and then... Oh, I thought you meant the other thing we are talking about. His stump? Yeah. No, we'll like get to what that. what he does. <laughs> so, okay. And then she's nude over there. Yeah, uh, jiggling. And right. then she stands up and does, strikes a pose for him. So a uh, Grey Worm is doing his best Apocalypse Now impersonation <laughs> and uh, starts staring at boobs. Yep. And then we cut to a scene with uh, Missandre and Daenerys. She's like combing her hair. Yeah. And he's like, he was looking at me. And she's like, no, they, they took everything. Do they take everything? The the pillars and the stones or something? They <laughs> yeah. had some kind of... Like... I, was, I was waiting for what she would say. Cock and balls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it took his cock and balls, he they did. It took his cock and balls, he did. It took the rod off that I did. He's like, spinning with that amazing, What in the way, little yeah. baby? <laughs> she just breaks out yeah. the worst English. That's <laughs> horrible, yeah. <laughs> she, Sandra just leaves a room horrified. Back to her roots. And then you have another scene where... She's in the throne room with Grey Worm, and she kind of says mm-hmm. to him, like, I'm glad you saw me. Yeah. And he's like, me too. He's like, hell yeah. <laughs> and then he walks off to, I guess, rub his nub or yeah. whatever the hell's or down there. You, gotta, you pluck it. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty gruesome. It's like uh, like it, in a, on the violin, what is that uh, oh, style? The, uh, Piccato or... Piccato, yeah. Something... <laughs> Yeah, when you pluck it. All right, so he's plucking his whatever the hell's down there with his finger. That's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> I can't believe uh, I said that, that. It must hurt. I believe I said last night he's going to go finger his stump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, that's pretty much what you said. Yeah, I was trying was to it. figure it out, <laughs> and, and it was it was gross any way I thought of it. It's disgusting. Hold yeah. on, let's see if Dexter had a comment about this. <laughs> Probably the same exact thing. Oh, okay. Dexter says, <clears throat> uh, Like the scene in the river, uh, Daenerys' interpreter is very, very attractive. <laughs> the sexual <laughs> tension between them builds. I don't know how they would have sex if he has no genitals at all. <laughs> I guess they would just scissor. I wonder if Oxnard will read this one. LOL. Well, I fucking did, asshole. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do we forget any of his in between that? No, that okay, was the next good. thing. The next one is about Sansa, so when mm-hmm. we get to Sansa, we'll talk about that. But uh, yeah. yeah, this is not in the book, this Grey Worm stuff. Hmm. It's interesting that they're throwing that in. One thing yeah. that's in the book that they didn't put in the show is that Daenerys would always be having like sexual time with her handmaidens. Uh-huh. They cool. Would just, they would all share the bed together and just oh, like man. do stuff together. Oh, man. Yeah. That was in a why, few chapters. Why are they cutting this out? I don't know. Don't they want people to watch the show? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think I'm watching here? I, I figured they were like keeping Daenerys around because she's hot, because they could have just wrote her out, but 
<laughs> but no, now you that you tell me her. that, it, uh, that my logic isn't sound that anymore. That was a big part of the, and she was always walking around naked. There was a lot of nudity. Oh, Everyone's man. naked. Yeah, that's. I was a little confused. Like, why is she even concerned about someone seeing her naked? Aren't people walking around naked all the time? People are walking around world? naked all the time in the books. So what does she Hodor's care? walking around naked, slinging dick so left and right. What the hell does she care? I don't know. That's weird. Sansa. Mm. Actually, uh, Theon. We have some. Very oh nice yes, Theon stuff. awesome. Or I really say, like this part. Meek. His name is Meek. Reek. Reek. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Reek. I've read the books and I don't even know the <laughs> fucking guy's name. Uh, Ramsey Snow is sending him to where? Uh, some fort some by fort. the water. Yes. A place that I should know, but I don't <laughs> Maybe, remember. Did Dexter know? Probably. Oh. <laughs> no. Dexter made no comments about the unseen, which is odd. But yeah, he goes into this fort where apparently everyone there is extremely sick. Yeah. Ugh. Like to the point where they're coughing up blood. Uh-huh. People are vomiting left and right. They're just laying down and dying. <laughs> I want to know uh, the diseases. Like, I want names for the diseases. Bro, what what was the one called? in D&D? Wasn't it Flea Roots? It or? was... Uh, I, mean, I invented uh, it. Laus, I can't even mice laus? remember. It. Mount, mouse Louse Pox. Mouse, mouse Louse Pox. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they all got Mouse Louse Pox. Uh-huh. And it's horrible. And then the guy... Uh, toppling th- over, puking on each other. Ramsey and, sends yeah. in Theon to, with this little thing. It says, hey, look, just surrender. Yeah. You guys can go home. Go back to your Iron Isle, mm. Isles. And you'll be th- and the guy like spits on him. Mm-hmm. Says we're not fucking doing that. Out of nowhere, the fat guy behind him. <laughs> yeah, which is it was a weird shot. You just see the guy's the head, axe. and then <laughs> I was like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know where it came from. And I <laughs> thought maybe somebody threw it from like atop the wall, like they were attacking. <laughs> like <I didn't... laughs> no, there was a guy doing like maintenance on on like uh, whoops on the landing up above him, and he just kind of dropped the axe off his shelf. <laughs> whoops. He's making an emblem with like crossed axes. Yes. <laughs> Well, shit! The guy's dead. The fat guy killed him, and he's like, mm-hmm. is this true? <laughs> is this really true? Very calmly after yeah. killing a man. Right. Uh, but I guess they're just so fed up that they're waiting for right. any They want to get out of there. They want to uh, go back. Theon almost breaks there. Reek almost breaks there. Yeah, he, he was starts like, oh, oh God. Ah. Reek, Reek, no. He starts he was, like, having a panic down. attack. Yeah, he was all in the mode. He was so confident, and then, oh, shit. Yeah. Insecure again. And But he pulls it off, and then... Uh, they surrender, then cut to the fat guy completely flayed. <laughs> and yeah. Ramsey Snow just looking at yeah. him. Going like, Touching yeah. him, right? Wasn't he like plucking things? I don't know. He we'll No, he, no, I don't think he touched him. He was just looking at him. Then he goes up to Reek, Theon, and he's like, yeah, you know, keep doing a good job. <laughs> yeah. And then we get to a <laughs> Look great what scene. you did. Aren't you proud? <laughs> yeah. We got a great scene with, uh, yeah, because he's killing his kinsmen right in yeah, front of him. I know. And, oh, man, it's so fucked Ugh. up. And then we have this great scene with Roose Bolton. They meet in a field, and he, Roose Bolton, the actor, does an excellent job. He's like, you know, look to the north mm. for 400 miles. Uh, look to the west for 300, this and that. It's all the north. It's like the biggest kingdom of all the kingdoms combined. Mm. And uh, he hands him a note, I guess like an official like declaration wow. that says... <laughs> what would it be? Like... Yeah, Ramsey Snow, you are now officially Anybody Ramsey. Anybody could forge that. Yeah, Ramsey, well, he's not forging like, What's it? official documentation in this place? A signature and a stamp? Okay. Anybody, but we were talking anybody about... can make those. We were talking about how... Do you think he's going to backstab Bruce Bolton in the future? Is that what oh, you were saying? I immediately thought, okay, big deal. He's going to kill you, Bruce, you idiot. You think so? I That's think he's I so obsessed with trying to please his father that he he wouldn't do is that. Is that what it is? I thought he was want, just wanted power. Isn't that why... He, I assume that's why why he killed his siblings, right? Well, by helping his father, because his father's older than he is. When his father dies, now that he's officially a Bolton, he's the heir. Right. I don't think he has to kill him. You just wait him out. I think he just wanted to get an excellent standing with his father. Ramsey Snow, uh, man. Or Ramsey Bolton now, man. Yeah, he's Ramsey Bolton. Well, I don't know. He was, it was a weird scene, too, because he's Roos- all, like, scared, like, timid around his father. He's never like that in any other scene. <laughs> That's you why know? I feel like he I wouldn't guess. ever back... Because Bruce Bolton also, he's a smart guy. He knows what he's doing. Mm. And so I think he... Maybe that was in the back of his head, like, uh, I better not make this guy my actual son because he has killed my other heirs, possibly. Right. Mm. And he's a lunatic. Yeah. So I think he's made... Like, that's a big move to say, okay, you are officially, like, my son. I'm, I'm declaring that you're my son. Mm. Yeah. Well, uh, Dexter also says, Hi, I'm Dexter. This is the second episode that they show Bravos in the opening credits, and there are no scenes there. Oh, man. That's true, Dexter. Whine about it. Another thing Dexter wanted me to mention is uh, Chew Tunes, uh, Cass Van De Pol. He drew uh-huh. a hilarious cartoon on Twitter. I'm going to put it up here. Um, 
It's uh, Dexter being held by the mountain. Because <laughs> he loves the mountain. He wants to see him lift things for yes, fun. Yes, and look how happy he is. And yeah. this is what happens when he holds you for too long. <laughs> look at that. Mountain hug too tight. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Barrison Selmy receives a, a bulletin from a small child that came directly from King's Landing saying, mm. oh, here's a royal pardon because he used to sell slaves or something. He was banished yeah. and then he went... Over the narrow sea, when he's confronted by Daenerys, uh, Jorah says, no, this is Tywin obviously trying to, like, break us apart. He's trying right. to, like, you know, feel the flames mm. to make sure that we break up or something like that. Because it is a weird timing that they would send that, because they, he got it before. They In the opening of the episode, they show that flashback when the guy was going to give Daenerys the wine. Yeah. And then Jorah was like, you first. Mm-hmm. And then the guy kind of sprints, and yeah, they drag him naked it. behind a horse. He's like, no, I don't want to drink that, man. It's poison shit, man. What are you talking about? Yeah, Daenerys gets very angry, says, get the hell out of here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she gets real bitchy, man. Yeah, she has to. Ugh. <laughs> she's not, not very attractive, Daenerys. I thought she was super attractive. The <laughs> angry oh, yeah? she gets, she gets more attractive oh, really? than me. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Eh. All right. Uh, well, so Jorah, you know, troubles ahead. Yep. So what's he going to do? It, I told you, it's this new spinoff series, uh, The Journey of Jorah. Yeah, Jorah Journeys. Mm-hmm. The legend continues. Oh, where am I gonna be? <laughs> I must find less gonna scorching suns. Barristan, sell me. <laughs> yeah. I liked him, too. This is the second most important part of the of the episode. Sansa, Littlefinger. Littlefinger is obviously on trial. We talked about this last week. Because mm-hmm. he's like, who are you going to blame it on? Because in the book, there was a bard in the room. Ah, oh. the bard in the room was the scapegoat. Okay, there was no scapegoat here. Uh-huh. I don't know where the bard is. I don't know if the bard. Remember in season one, there was that bard that traveled with Tyrion and Caitlin. Um, no. <laughs> okay, well, there was a bard there. I don't know if it was that guy. It probably wasn't, or maybe it was. But there was a bard in the room, and then they kind of said, "Oh, he had an infatuation with her, uh-huh. or something." And then he killed her for some reason, and then uh-huh. everyone bought it. Now, like if Dexter was here, we'd be talking about this, but I want people to leave comments. They made so many changes to the structure, like little tiny changes yeah. to what Sansa tells these people. These people are... But it's probably going to like uh, balloon into big That's changes. what I'm thinking. Like they're definitely, at no point in the book does Sansa ever say like, oh, I am Sansa Stark mm-hmm. and this and that. Oh, really? Yeah. So basically they're inter- interrogating uh, Peter Baelish, these, uh, uh, the Royces, I think they, they're called. I don't like the Royces or whatever the hell they are. I like the Royce. That lady has weird hair. Well, she's a Royce. That's it's the Royce weird. haircut. Uh, <laughs> it's weird. Uh, basically, Sansa it's... comes in, and this is where, if you're a reader of the book, you start watching, and Sansa starts telling the Royces, like, I'm Sansa Stark, this and that. And I'm kind of going, like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? But then half she tells half the truth, and then mm-hmm. the second half of that part is she corroborates Littlefinger's story. Yeah. So I was like, okay, but it's definitely going to have major implications in the future that's going to change... What's going to happen? So Peter Baelish gets off scot-free for killing yeah. Lysa. And then uh, later on, they have this scene where um, Sansa, she's there kind of knitting. Hold on, or hold on, hold on. What? Going too fast here. Wait, Sansa used to be dumb, right? It, what, this isn't like this. She just belts this like genius uh, alibi Well, that's what I was, I was getting to this. because that? This episode, the last we see of Sansa in this episode, she walks out in her new yeah, wardrobe. Her Maleficent yeah, wardrobe. I was going to say, she looks like the sorceress from Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> <laughs> like this kind of like evil looking witch right. costume kind of Halloween thing going uh-huh. on. Where'd she learn to do that? I don't know, but apparently that's her new identity, Elaine. So I guess she's going to really... Villain finishing school? It's not Villainous? that she's a villain, but now I guess she's playing oh, into the game. On. She's starting to learn the game, so mm. she's becoming more of that kind of... Um, so what's her game? That shrewd, that kind of shrewdness. What's here. her angle? Does she want to be Mrs. She Baelish? She wants to live, and she wants to live in peace, basically, mm. and then try and get as much power as she can. Mm. And they have this great scene where she, uh, Baelish goes to Sansa and, and says, like, why did, you, mm-hmm. why did you lie for me? And they exchange some words. It was interesting. I liked it. Uh, the other thing is also that um, Baelish says he's going to take Robin out to go see the yeah. male to try and make a man out of him. <laughs> oh, no. So we'll see how that works out. Yeah, I don't think so. He was At, at the end, he was convincing him uh, because Robin's like scared to go anywhere. He's like, Mama said don't go out because it's dangerous. Yeah. it's. Yeah. He's like, don't be afraid to live. You can't be afraid to die. 
but you I like that scene a lot. They either. changed it, and I wish Dexter was here so we could talk a little bit more about it. Mm. If he's feeling better, we'll talk about that. Uh, but it was really interesting how they did it. Yes. By the way, this Lord of the Veil guy has the biggest belly plate armor I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Like, you think he has that thing adjusted, like, as his weight changes? Yeah. You just put it over the flame, and then you hit it with a hammer and That's expand it? it. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. There's probably a blacksmith who Adjustable. keeps track. Like, he probably hands him, like, this is what I ate on Tuesday. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Four pheasants. <laughs> I better expand this to a size 49 or whatever the hell it is. <laughs> yeah. That's what, when you're a nobility in the Vale, yeah. uh, you get that kind of Custom treatment. Custom armor jobs. Yeah. Uh, the other scene I almost forgot, the Hound and Arya. He has, like, a V shape. Is that, like, a V for the Vale? Sure. That's, yeah. I like the Vale, by the way. That's a cool name. Yeah, the Vale. If I had a, a realm or a place, a kingdom, right. it'd be called One the One thing vale. that annoys me, though, vale. is that getting to that to that to to the Vale, to the castle, mm-hmm. that's a long trek. You that's have to what go you want, this... man. But, yeah, so the, the thing, enemies uh, are tired when they get there. Yeah, but what annoys me is that it's never on the show. They never show the basket. Oh. There's usually, you have to either, like, go climbing with a mule mm. or you have uh, you get in this basket and it takes like 20 minutes i think and they you know there's a pulley system and they pull you up and the wind is and your basket is bouncing yeah. left and right. like oh, it's man. a it's a treacherous <laughs> journey to get up there uh they never really show that they just kind of show like yo here's the blood gate and i guess there's stairs and you walk <laughs> up like, yeah <laughs> come on you gotta show something Did you ever see those crazy in in asia i think in china there's lots of weird stuff like tiny bridges and weird trails around mountain ledges which are yeah. basically like boards like yes. steps in the side of the mountain yeah. <laughs> and there's no nothing in between you and and <laughs> falling a mile yeah it's just a means <laughs> it's to just an end rickety wooden two by fours you have to step on oh my god it's either like you go Ridiculous. this way go this way it'll take two minutes or you go this other way it's gonna take two hours <laughs> A uh, short part with the hound and Arya. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Arya still saying, "Oh, you should have let me burn that for you." And she's like, "It's fine." Or You're walking a is. lot slower now. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, but you can see how the uh, hound is acting differently. He's not that kind of ruthless kind of person. Yeah. He's kind of like toy playing around. He's, you know, he's not no dog no more. Here's what Dexter had to say about the Sansa scene. Uh, Sansa scenes were great. I was curious how they were going to handle the fact that there was no bard to pin the blame on in the show. Uh, she seems to be totally into Littlefinger, which is off-putting. She pulled off the lie really well. Duh. Good job, Dexter. Yeah, state the obvious, Dexter. And, uh, talking Do you have anything Aria, insightful to say, huh? Uh, Dexter also says about the Arya scene, uh, I wonder where they're going to go with Arya's story arc here. She's really close to Sansa. I feel like they really actually meet up. Or because she was laughing, trouble will start. The hound would spot someone eating a turkey leg and start demanding food, then kill everyone. Mm. That's right, Dexter. That's why I like the hound. This guy's Same always would cutting do. up yucks. Yep. Always bringing the laughs. I love poultry. <laughs> but yeah, that was a, it was an odd part there where she starts laughing. Cause I was yeah. Like, What's going on? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah. And cool. he's like, hey, your aunt died. <laughs> Maybe she just went completely. And the dude's like, oh. Okay. Different things happen in the book. Yeah. I don't have no. I have no idea where the hell Arya's story is going. So your guess right. is as good as mine. That, is, that was weird. Um, I, I wouldn't have thought that was in the book because it was weird that she's just right, right there. And it's true. Turn around. Also, I figured they wouldn't even end up there ever. That's what I thought. That's yeah. <laughs> but uh, also, they're bringing in a lot of aspects, especially for Sansa's story uh, from book five. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I, I which mean, are. Well, Sansa, she... No, don't tell me. <laughs> you saw it. Oh. That's what happens in kind of book five. Oh, she five. becomes evil? Not, no, she doesn't become evil, but she kind of plays into like Peter Baelish's plan. Queen like, of the Undead thing? No, she's not the Queen of the Undead. <laughs> she, she, she starts dressing like the Queen of the Undead, apparently. <laughs> um, but she... Uh, so I'm just curious where they're going to bring this story. I have no idea. Because Sansa's mm-hmm. so close to Sansa. Yeah, I'd Arya's be very curious. so close to Sansa. Yes, I'm sorry. What did I say? Sansa's so close to Sansa. Yeah, which Arya's, she is. Ar- yeah, Sansa is the closest to Sansa. <laughs> uh, yeah, Arya's so close to Sansa that I have no idea what they're going to do. So mm. that's basically everything leading up until the final part. Hold on. Is it? Yeah. No, there's a, there's a scene with Tyrion about the Beatles. Yeah, but that's, that's part of the final part. Oh, okay. But everything else up until Tyrion, I think we coved. So that's it. That's our review. For the first 50 minutes of the episode. Now, nah, I think we'll stop. No, okay. For the last 10 minutes, uh, I guess... Nothing big happens. 
Yeah, I kind of stopped watching at the 50 minute mark. I didn't mark. like it. It was just rest. so boring. I like this I up it deal here. I liked it. Yeah. One of the last scenes is uh, Jamie brings Tyrion some wine. Mm-hmm. Um, they're going to have this nice little conversation. And one part I liked about it is uh, he starts naming all the different kinds of names they have for killing different people. Yep. And then it's like, you know, regicide, matricide, infanticide. And he's like, is there a name for something that they don't have? And then Jamie's like, cousins. And then Tyrion's like, oh, yeah, there's no name for killing your cousin. Mm-hmm. Tyrion, they start talking about this old cousin they had, Orson. Orson, yeah. Who, <laughs> he was he was the witness, dropped him when he was a baby, made him simple. Made him simple. <laughs> I love that story. And they start Term. doing these uh, simple. somewhat <laughs> offensive interpretations of you his actions. You think Dexter's simple? Dexter's definitely simple. Mm. Based on these notes <laughs> that I'm receiving an email, <laughs> good God. I think water they have because wells exist. Guh, 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 guh. <laughs> anyway. What does uh, that mean? Why did he type all those guhs in there? I don't know. Tyrion has this obsession with his cousin during that time, and he mm-hmm. was like trying to understand why does he like to crush these beetles? Yeah. And he starts talking about this dream he would have where he was on a beach surrounded by the beetle corpses husks. of beetle husks. And <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to figure out. I, I tried. I can't. I don't know what what Maybe it's just like a bigger meaning for like the, just the world at large. I guess. Maybe. The, People die all the time. And we don't know why or nobody cares. I don't know. Like the person in power, even though they're stupid, just because they're that powerful is able to kill for so no many. For no reason. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. There's something there. Someone can probably interpret yeah. it better. Viewers... Send us your comments. Yeah, any smart the people Beatle listening talk? to us two idiots yes. talk about this, explain it. Yeah. I'd love to hear other people's explanations. Right. I would love to hear any explanation. Now we get to the, I think, probably the most dramatic scene I think Boss has ever seen. Oh, my God. I w- I'm so traumatized. I'm in mourning. I, 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 I hate myself for some reason. <laughs> uh, okay. I feel gross all day. Ugh. Trial uh, by combat. Uh, I'm sick. Tyrion. I, oh, man. For regicide. Those are the uh, accusations. So uh, the, he said, I want trial by combat, which someone had noted, had left a comment in the past video. He said, I think only people of noble birth can demand a trial by. Because oh, I think we were talking about, like, okay. why can't anyone do it? Right. So yeah, One thing I noticed about the trial by combat is there's, like, no cheering. It's, like, dead silent. Yeah. It's a very That's serious weird. thing. It's not like uh, back in the day with gladiators and stuff. So yes, uh, Oberyn is there. He's drinking his wine. And, then, and Tyrion's like, oh, I don't think you should be drinking. And he's like, oh, I always drink before a fight. But he does lots of things before a fight. The mountain walks out. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. You're fighting that? Yes, and uh, his lover there <laughs> the is very concerned. The biggest man I've ever seen. Yes, he's a very large Icelandic man. The, the fight mace, yeah. was awesome. It was awesome. It was near perfectly how I envisioned it when I was really? reading the book. Hmm. Uh, circling the mountain, doing all these twists and yeah. turns. Uh, I like how the Meister part, yeah. Meister Pycelle is there trying to do the big introduction. And, <laughs> and he cuts him off. Yeah, Tywin's just like, hey, just yeah. blow the horn. And then Pycelle kind of shuffles off there. <laughs> Mountain pulls out this sword <laughs> that looks like it's two times longer than he is. <laughs> and then uh, Oberyn, just as uh, impressively, he starts uh-huh. whipping around <laughs> like Bruce Lee. But what I was saying before is that you never really got to see Oberyn's ability to fight before right. now you saw that you know when he's first introduced he puts like the blade through the one of the lannisters in the whorehouse yeah and he starts talking so you can tell he has some kind of knowledge of how like fighting works and like if mm-hmm. i pull this blade out he's gonna bleed to death this and that you want to get him help but the fight i thought was awesome the way he was circling him he's saying who gave the order that you raped my sister and killed her children and he's looking at tywin and everything it's very dramatic he uh Oberyn gets a few good hits in there i think he mm-hmm. hits him part of the neck doesn't he he knocks his helmet off knocks his helmet off right he hits him i think in the heel the third one i he's there's before that he stabs him in the stomach yes he he was knocked down and he like tumbles under him and he stabs him in the stomach yes and then he gets him on the back of the leg right one of the strikes definitely looked like a killing blow to me it looked like he went right Right. to his chest the one in his right i was talking to jingles about that he said that when he read the book he thought most of it said that most of Oberyn's hits on him didn't go through the armor. So he was saying how he didn't think the first stab actually went through. But I think it, when you watch it, it looks like it goes through. Also, Tyrion makes a remark like, "You're wearing leather armor." Oh, I like to be able to move. <laughs> I like to move around. Yes. Let me just pause. <laughs> 
I like that shot. <laughs> okay. So we freeze framed on a shot of Oberyn just as he planted this spear. Yeah, the last shot. That's the... how it ends. Yes, that's how it ends, boss. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Yay! So, All right! So yeah! When you were a kid and your mom put on Bambi, did she turn it off <laughs> before Bambi's mom got killed or something? Yeah, that's how it ends right here. Right. This is great. But in the book, what I remember in the book is that he puts the lance so through his chest mm-hmm. that it actually pins the mountain to the ground. Oh. That's how strong. And he's standing above him saying, say it to them! You raped her! Who gave the order? And he's looking at Tywin. And that's yeah. when... The mountain swipes his legs. He mm-hmm. falls down. In the show, the mountain kind of gets on top of him. No, he in the show, he knocks him down. He, like, grabs him by the neck right. over him, and then he punches him. Punches him? And, and then he pushes him, and he rolls over him. Okay. And then he pops him. For some reason in the book, I remember the mountain is pinned there. The spear is still in him. Yeah. And he just... He trips him and then grabs his hand and then above him, oh, he's gouging his eyes out him. with his thumbs and then crushes his skull uh-huh. and then the mountain just lays down again. Uh-huh. I might be re- remembering oh, that, that wrong. That sounds... It's very gruesome. It was intense and uh, it was just as shocking mm-hmm. watching it visually as it was reading it for the first time. And we watched it again closer and Oberyn does kind of thrust at him. And it doesn't go through the armor with the first one, and that's when the mountain like knocks him down. Right. But then the second time, it definitely makes a sound like it goes through the armor. Yeah. And there then was... he cuts his leg. Right? Yeah, there was a shot there. It looked like it definitely went through his torso. I also like the part where you know he cuts his spear in half, and then the right one of the that's the other thing I was gonna talk about. I'm surprised that he gets another weapon. I think I think you're allowed. That's pretty good. I I was saying to Jingles, why doesn't he why doesn't he line up fifty of them, run around and just chuck them like javelins? Over and over again. <laughs> Maybe you could. it depends on your fighting style. That's why I guess you try yeah. by combat. You just pick. I would pick the guy with the machine gun. Honestly, right. <laughs> is or there you a... just get knives and chuck knives at him all day. Yeah, we haven't seen any <laughs> knife throws in the show. Right. We see that some like ninja mm-hmm. stars like like Guillermo. Yes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a ball. No. 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 Oh yes. No. You throwing. Knives. Unfortunately, Oberyn has passed in the most brutal no, I was gonna... he's gonna be okay man i mean he's fine, he, he's fine. I, there's no indication to me that he died he just lost he just lost yeah you he know his, his head is now ground beef but yeah he lost no you know? he'll he'll be back he'll be back better than Otherwise, ever. He's like the i don't te- really want to watch he's the like show. the terminator his flesh is gonna mold again and i don't want to watch the show if over why do i why would i want to watch the show if over not in it i you're gonna want to watch the next two no, episodes he became the reason that I don't know. He superseded all the other reasons to watch the show. Now I don't want to watch it. Okay. Well, just remember, there's other cool characters coming. I was talking to Jingles. Like, there's nobody else that I care about dying, except maybe the Hound and maybe Egret. Besides that, anybody could die. I don't care. I don't care. Like you mentioned, oh, aren't you worried about Tyrion? I'm like, no, I don't care if Tyrion dies. Kill him. I don't wow. care. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I really care about people. Tyrion. There's other people. I care about the Hound a lot too. If Arya died, I wouldn't care. Really? Yeah. You don't want to see Arya? Sansa? No. Nope. I don't care. Yeah, Sansa, not really. Little I mean, finger, but Sansa is now care. becoming... Jon Snow, don't care. Sansa's becoming more interesting now that she's... So Jorah, not really. Daenerys, you can kill her. I like Jorah. I don't care. Uh... They're the only two people I moderately care about. All right. Well, just remember, this is a character that was introduced this season. You've never seen him before. Right. Just like that. Yeah. So falling in be... love. Yeah, I didn't might... know I loved him until he popped. Yeah, you don't. There's other <laughs> Dorns out there. Uh, He's just one Dornish. Guy. I hope so. <laughs> I think you like. I think you just like the Dorns. I want another Dornish prince. Yeah. Well, there's, there's, you might see some more Dornish <laughs> He's people. So cool. Yeah, the Dorn. They make the best wine, apparently. <laughs> flip the spear around. It's cool. Yeah, flipping spears around. They, <laughs> and they like exotic weapons. I think they like flails. Oh, I think. Man. <laughs> um, oh man. Could get interesting. And he has cool, like, snakeskin armor. Yeah. That's what it looks like. The like Viper. He, like he flayed a giant snake or something and dried it out, made him a nice tunic. Fucking Mountain. Fucking hate him. <laughs> Nobody Fuck likes you, him. Mountain. And we were so cool on the Mountain last week. I hate him. <laughs> well, Dexter was obsessed with uh, the Mountain, apparently. Fucking Mountain. I hope he gets <laughs> chopped up by something. And Aiton. And Aiton. Yeah. So uh, this week, we have your comments here. These are... Um, I want the hens to raid and chop up the mountain and eat them. The hens? Oh, the hens. Yes. I thought you meant... The like thens. Chi- the thens. <laughs> the hens. <laughs> I thought you meant chickens. <laughs> oh, the, the oh coop's open! What is that to the north? It cannot be. <laughs> Seven hens! <laughs> Seven hens! <laughs> That's a pecking sound. <laughs> 
The pecking has begun. So this week, the we- feathers. <laughs> this the week, the flock. This week's uh, night competition. Uh, right. You gave us your night ideas, so here they what are. Were they? I don't think I looked at them. Okay, so I Claire Gray them. says, "Right night," as in right. Ha- he was house- right the whole time. Night. Yes, house <laughs> motto: We were right the whole time. Weapon: <laughs> Deadly emo stare. There you go. Deadly emo stare, like a pompous emo kid who thinks he knows. You everything. were right like the whole like time. A, like an emo teenager who thinks he knows everything about the world, and he's yeah, like too man. good for everything. Yeah, whatever. whatever. That's not cool. Go go to your corporate Disney princess yeah, convention. Whatever. Or, I've whatever. seen that before. Yeah. Oh God, everything that's. Everything now has been done before. Mm. Oh, everything's fake. This is an art. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There he is. Uh, Clark Ray says, Dexter's laughing fit at the end cheered me up after a particularly shitty day. Thanks, Dexter. Happy mm-hmm. face. You do realize you all spent an extraordinary amount of time talking about giant muscly men? <laughs> yes. Wo- wonderful. And now I hate them. I mean, that was spurred on mostly by Dexter. Dexter apparently has an yeah. affinity for large, muscular, Icelandic he's, men. You no, know, he's simple like that. Hairy, big, muscled men, mm-hmm. glistening nipples and buttocks yep. and all that stuff. <laughs> Rhydonculoid <Ridonculo- Ridonculo> says... <laughs> Rhydonculoid. <Ridonculo-ed. laughs> uh, Luchador Knight, the medieval uh-huh. Mexican mangler. <laughs> okay, here he is. <laughs> Look at that. Like he's like the luchadors, like the wrestlers, the Mexican wrestlers. Yes. Yeah. Who Deef says, Sir Jobs of House Google. See, now this confused me. Yes. Because I don't think Steve Jobs had anything to do with Google. No. So I'm going to draw this. Wow. (laughs) It all makes sense now. Look at that. Search with that. Sildari says, Braun to wed Lolly Stokeworth. Okay, he's correcting us because we were talking about Braun, who he's going to marry. Uh, I know we were completely we got the wrong. Name wrong. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I yeah, thought it was some girl. Happen. It apparently wasn't. That's going to happen. Keep correcting us, though. Thanks, man. Always correct us. We don't know what the fuck is going on. Yeah. Michael Vitali says, "Mr. Potato Head Knight, make sure you show him in the act of a kill oxtard." Mr. Potato Head Knight. Yeah. So. Oh, you think he detaches arms with different <laughs> weapons, or you think you take the weapons out of his hands? I don't know. I'm going to draw from Toy Story 3 when he was in the, in the tortilla. I don't think I saw that. Okay, well, <laughs> here it is, and he's a oh. knight, and he's killing Oxtard, which I guess is me. <laughs> yeah, you, so, you simple is yes. Oxtard. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Minkus Newman says, Light Bright Knight. Light bright. So here it is. <laughs> you know, like the light bright, light bright, light bright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 so it's basically da, 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 someone made light a night bright. with light bright. Daniel Plainview, last week's Ted Night Night seemed to mystify you guys. <laughs> have none of you seen Caddy Shark? No. Well, I have, but I, not in a long time. I hate I to really admit it, but I've it. never seen Caddy Shark. I know it it's like a famous comedy film. I've not seen it. <laughs> Daniel Plainview also says. Robo Cock Knight, your move, <laughs> creep. <laughs> Robo Cock Knight, there it is. It's amazing. Uh, there you Baca, go, citizen. Isn't it great? <laughs> All right, so, nice. I like the knights. I want more detail in the knights, though. Very creative knights. Yeah, However, Claire. We need more detail. Yeah, Claire did the right thing. You'd say the name of the knight, then you put the house motto, and right. then a weapon, and there you go. Put like a little history. Mm-hmm. You can't just say and be creative with the weapons too. Sir Jobs of House Google. What am yeah. I? What, what's what's the his motto? I, I got shit to do, man. Make <laughs> this clear. <laughs> we need mottos. Yeah, the mottos are the funniest part. What did boss think? What did boss? This is kind of weird because you kind of were talking about what you it's thought okay. anyway, but we can still do this I was, segment. I was traumatized, horrified, hateful, mm-hmm. spiteful, angry, gassy, disgusted. A lot of gas. A lot of gas. You know, farts. I choked on my own tears. Flatulence. I just, I just felt awful. I had a great day too before I saw this episode. A really great day. Yeah, I remember you but came then, in. You were happy. You had yeah. your little fruit drink. What was that called? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Strawberry banana fruit drink. Yeah, strawberry yeah, banana fruit drink. Yeah, was at the beach. He gave me some turkey jerky. Sun. Everything was great. Oh, I had turkey jerky too. Oh <laughs> man, I was on. I was. Oh, I was up there. But and then we sat down. And that just this show just fucked it all to pieces. <laughs> 
So, uh, boss, there's two episodes left. What do you think is going to happen? I wa- next definitely week? want to see my boys, the Wild Wings. The Wild, wild Wings. wings. <laughs> I think he's saying that. I. <laughs> the- <laughs> What? <laughs> wild wings. The wild wing with mild sauce on it. <laughs> My boys, the wildlings. The wildlings. Attack the wall. That's what I want. Okay. I want to say on them to burn them down. But I also, I don't know if I predicted this already, but I think, I think I might have said this, that I think when the big, since we haven't even seen the fucking big group in forever, I feel like they're just going to be all zombies. Oh, you mean the big Mance Raiders, Mance Raiders Army. group? I think they're just going to be all zombies. It's oh, not that's even going to be them. They're just going to—they're dead already. That's right. what I think. Because we saw the huge zombie army. So Mance Raiders Army and the zombies already, already army are above the, the wall. wild wings. <laughs> They've got to find each other somehow and, right. and clash. So I think they're all just going to be dead, storming the wall, and then the wildling. Maybe the wildlings will join forces with the the um, the Night's Watch. To repel the zombie invaders. How about that? Here's the thing, though. Your predictions, they're doing a lot of things different from the book. So your predictions are actually some... Even if I think you're totally wrong... Yeah. At this point, I'm like, he might be right. Because I don't... <laughs> because the show the show is starting to change. Uh-huh. They're starting to change so many little details. Yeah. That's going to just grow and grow into like bigger and bigger differences from the book. Uh-huh. Yeah. That might... I would not be surprised if all the... The horde of wildlings becomes zombies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that would be awesome. And I really liked the thing. I want to see giants. I like their axes. He has a huge battle axe. Yeah. He's just swiping at people as he enters that yeah. mole town. In. What do you think of Egrid? Uh, do you think she was pretty brutal there? Just I like think she should have killed her. That's what I think. She should have killed Gilly. <laughs> I like her her scimitar there. That was pretty cool. Yeah. I thought that her, was like with a bow. Now she's stabbing all over the place. Yeah. I thought that was pretty hard. She's just killing the prostitutes. Eh, I'm like whatever. <laughs> okay, they're not they're not wildlings. They're not like us. Kill them. So why wouldn't she kill Gilly? Wouldn't that? I don't know. Oh yeah, that's true. I would have. Then they take the baby, bring it to the the whites, so right. they can make a white baby. Simple solution to simple problems. Okay. And then I also thought uh, when Theon's there, I thought you no, know, he's 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 in a pretty good situation now. Reek's got his own horse. He's got this nice armor. He's got no dick. Lip. He's completely emotionally Lip. broken. He's a men- He's mentally <laughs> well, crippled. Everything's going know, great. He had to get over that that rough patch he was in. Yeah, hey, the rough patch of being completely <laughs> destroyed and decimated and uh, flayed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, he got over that rough patch. You know, the torture but and now the... he's Ramsey's buddy. Yeah, they're good friends. They're gonna have a sitcom command. soon. Ramsey and and Reek. <laughs> Ramsey and Reek. One. One day he had a dick. The other day it got cut off. Now they're living together. He's giving him prostitutes, but then he cuts off his balls. <laughs> Ramsey and Reek. Darn. And then I liked the uh, the <laughs> connection you made when we saw first we saw a gray worm in the water, and we were, and then his scene and and, yes. and it cut from one guy without a dick to Theon the oh yes yes <laughs> when we were watching the episode I was like oh it's interesting <laughs> yeah they show one eunuch and then I like that the you n- caught that that's yeah. pretty deep they're showing the different sides I don't understand how you got that but we can't understand the beetle analogy I don't know when it comes to dicks and penises for some reason I like hone in on He's that on a higher level <laughs> at this point I think I'm trying to figure out what my favorite storyline is I can't even. I guess the wildlings. Um, so don't leave any spoilers in this ep- in this in the comments. Uh, I know last week someone left a spoiler. You didn't read it, right? Nope. Okay, I told oh, boss. Yeah, that's to read. why I didn't read the comments because I was avoiding. Yeah. That. So uh, just try to keep it spoiler free. Uh, we're gonna have our next. If you want to leave spoiler comments, go to our last spoiler episode. Mm-hmm. We did that like two weeks ago. We're gonna do another one this week. I hope if Dexter's feeling better, which will be the part two of that. So uh, that was our episode review: the mountain and the viper. Did mm. we, uh, were there any you others? mean the viper and the mountain? Yes, sure. Tyrion's in trouble. Tywin's happy. I can't wait to see his head. Jorah's off. off. Daenerys is pissed. Missandre, Grey Worm, is taking interest. He's plucking it. Yeah. <laughs> there hey, you go. everybody. Oh, um, one final note here. Dexter had this to say about the final fight. <clears throat> the final scene was obviously incredible. Uh, it's one of my favorites of the season. The actor who plays Oberyn was fucking incredible. Before the fight, when he started whipping his spear around and pressing everyone, I just kept thinking of Guillermo. 
I thought it was hilarious when Pycelle was talking and Tywin cut him off by having the horns blow. This scene was funny, nerve-wracking, intense, horrifying, and sad. It was a nice microcosm of what it is to live in Martin's world. You might have success for a bit. Sooner or later, you will get your skull crushed by an Icelandic strongman. Dexter's thoughts. I'm not going to comment on it. Hey. That's cool. I mean, <laughs> he texted us and he said, "Oh, so be sure to read my notes, guys." Well, <laughs> and, uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's, it's not, not high nothing. mission enough. Well, hey, well, hey, guys, what's yeah. going? On? <laughs> He's so oh, wow. simple. Uh, that's what when you're not here. That's what happens. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I he texted us and he said, "Oh, he thinks uh, maybe Theon will get that sickness that they had at the fort." That's a pretty good theory. But they, oh, the other thing, they didn't even give us more information. It was just people sick. We don't know what that sickness is. Or well, what's Dexter going just on. yeah, he just texted. Spread. Yeah. yeah, I thought that was interesting. Yeah, maybe Theon gets sick. The review's over. Have a good one. Leave your night concepts, and I'll draw it. Take care. Have fun. Bye. Stay healthy. Goodbye. <laughs>